Hey guys, what's up? This is Sam Ayo, and today I'm going to show you how to install Windows 3.1 on your Android tablet. Let's get to it. So what you're going to need for this video are the disks for Windows 3.1, 3.11, or 3.1, well, Windows for Workgroups 3.11, or I guess Windows for Workgroups 3.1, or if you're going to go extreme, Windows 3.2. Some kind of Android tablet capable of running DOSBox. And a three and a quarter inch sloppy drive if you plan on obtaining the Windows 3.1 images legally. I'm not going to show you how to get them with the floppy drive in this video. But it's pretty simple to find out how if you just do a simple Google search. So here are the eight images for Windows for Groups 3.11. I'm pretty sure Windows for what just regular Windows 3.1 will only have six images, and Windows 3.0 will have five images. Of course, they'd be from five and a quarter floppies. But I don't know about 3.2 because I've never seen a copy of that. But what you're going to want to do, this is going to be a long and painful thing, so I'm not going to... I already have it done, but I'm not going to show you me mounting every image and then bringing it into a folder because, of course, I already have it done and it's eight different images, so that would take kind of forever. But basically what you need to do is mount an image. Oh, the first just isn't doesn't work moaning for me half the time I don't know why it shouldn't be shouldn't have that problem but whatever just select it all and drag it into that and if it tells you uh, into a folder labeled d2 or something easy without any dots that can easily be piped in in DOS box some of these things won't be able to be replaced but yeah okay now what you're going to want to do is open up your Android file transfer. I'm using Android file transfer because it's the one I have. And create a new folder. Label it Win. Okay. And then select all of these and drag them into that Win folder. Okay, what you need to do now is go into your DOS emulator I'm using free dot free box because it's a pretty nice emulator type mount a slash storage slash emulated slash zero slash win on an x7 it might be different on something else especially if you're using an actual SD card so then it will mount that and then go to the A drive CD D1 or whatever you named the folder with the first disk then type setup it will start a setup hit enter hit C hit enter hit enter hit enter hit enter it will start copying the files Do the name of the next disk there instead of disk 1, and we'll continue to copy the files. And then we'll go into this. You can license your name, so, uh, you can license it to your name, so it's my YouTube name. And let's do that as a product number, it doesn't actually matter what you type in there, it's just kind of there. Hit continue. Continue. Uncheck setup printers and setup applications you already have on your hard disks, unless you already installed stuff on a do the DOS emulator you're using. Continue. Continue. Then it will keep. Then it will start installing Windows as usual.
and once you get here to one of these prompts, you just change the name of the disk, and you'll be good to go. So once you get to D6, it's pretty much, or disk 6, it's basically over, and it should finish. After it's done getting the power of course and letting all the files of course. Yeah, there's some on line sweep. Hit continue. Oh, not exit setup. Hit continue. I say continue. Make modifications now. Okay. Then it will load up all the windows. Skip tutorial. Reset, uh, return to MS DOS. And there you have it Windows 3.1 running in, on Android with DOSBox. You, you're going to have a hard time moving things around. In, doing things of the sort with the mouse because of course this is DOSBox one click is going to be like that I know it's possible to drag it's just not easy to another thing to mention is if you want to start up Windows from within DOSBox you have to type in CD Windows and then type in Win as opposed to just typing in Win because it's installed in a directory that's kind of weird. So unless you installed it directly on the C directory, which is, well, C drive, that's on the root of the C drive, which would be a bit weird. You're going to have to do that step every time. But I hope you all enjoyed this video. Maybe you find it, found it a bit useful. Maybe, maybe you could, well, you can run some old programs on there. I'm going to try and see how well SimCity would work on this. I'd, that would be interesting. But yeah, hope you all enjoyed this video. See ya.